in the studio today working on a teapot. This is a fairly elaborate one. I made it a couple days ago uh, using the pinch pot method. It's leather hard now. And I started earlier laying on the leaf pattern, which is going to cover the most of the teapot. I, I usually leave the handle in the spout because it's too difficult to put the leaves on there. Plus, I want it to be somewhat a functional piece so that it can pour. It's actually hollow inside. The spout is a workable spout. It has a working lid. I've made the flange extra long so that it's not tippy. It's not going to fall off. Um, and uh, so today I'm going to just talk about the finishing or some of the finishing of the construction process. I've made a series of little leaves using a stamp that I made, a bisque stamp. Simple, simple easy stamp. And I, I cut these out from a fairly thin slab of clay. And, um, and I've, I'm just going around the piece, putting on a little paper clay slip that I have made with my own clay. And I'm attaching these on gently and lightly and um, cutting off a little of the extra. And then I'm going to just smooth this in. And I don't really worry about the part down here where it's not so, uh, so smooth. I just want to make sure that everything is attached well. Um, and then as you can see, I'm going to keep going around and covering up this area here. And I want to, as I'm going around, I want to leave some, some openings where I can later attach other little things that I like to put on kind of help make the piece just more fanciful, more lively. So I make often a bunch of these little flowers and also leaves and sometimes um, words, little pieces of text um, that I like to add in as well that kind of relate to the title of the piece, or the mood of the piece that I'm working on. So when I'm doing, uh, when I'm going to put in one of these, I make a kind of an, a, a small indentation in where I think they're going to go. So there's one there, there's one here, and possibly there would be maybe one down here. So I'll just kind of Take this tool and just press in a little bit there so that I get enough space that I can add this flower in here. And I really do try to uh, position it and, and make the base of the flower or whatever it is I'm putting in uh, fit well enough. So I'm just kind of laying that in for now. And um, then later, as I make these, uh, I'll make some ba a base for it with a, sort of some cushion shapes, and they'll have various uh, of various of these different pieces that I've also made, um, also out of stamps. Sometimes they're from buttons, like this is from an actual button. Some of these are just little pieces, little slabs that I've cut, and those will be in the finished piece as well. You can see some of the finished ones on my website. And then there'll be something on the top, probably a, probably a bird this time again. Uh, and I play around with what is going to go on the top. 
So it could be something like this. I try to see how things, if it's too, you know, gonna be too much or not enough, or I, I, I play around with these things and I, I'm um, constantly changing my mind, but at some point they, they it d does become clear to me that what is the, what is the one, what's the thing that I'm gonna use. Um, yeah, and I also add in little buttons that are, I've just made an indentation into the handle when it was a little bit wetter. And this is really just, just a little ball of clay, tiny little ball of clay. Just kind of place it in there. And I use a um, bottom of a wooden needle tool to just to, to both attach it and also to make a little indentation in there and most of the time they stay on if they don't I can always attach them later with a little bit of glaze before it goes into the kiln and um, I like to I, I don't I think the sewing theme is just part of my background something that I enjoy something about uh, working in clay makes me also think about making uh, garments so I like to keep that sense of the, the stitch. Uh, and uh, here is my little stitching wheel, which is actually a tracing wheel that I used uh, when I was transferring patterns. You can still find these. Um, yeah, so I think that's all that I'm gonna show today. Thanks for stopping in.